If your zooms look like this, I'm going to show you how to fix that and make your zooms look smooth and 10 times better. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we are in DaVinci. So here I have already set up two clips. One will be showing you how to do it in the edit page and the other one is a bit more advanced and it will be showing you how to do it in Fusion. So don't worry if you just follow my steps, you will be able to do it in Fusion too. And it's not really that hard. So yeah. So let's say we want to zoom this in. Let's go. I don't know. I just zoom in a bit and go somewhere around here. Okay, just keyframe our zoom go some 10 frames forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this and then keyframe it again and just zoom it to 1.2 something like this so let's see how it looks it looks very linear and very rigid and also our let's say here is our eye line it just moves up and we can actually try to fix it by adding a position screen frame so let's go back let me show you let's keyframe it here and go to the other one keyframe it again so we can do something like this to maybe try to offset that yeah so now now it looks better but there's actually easier way to do that so i'm gonna show you how to do it now let's just go from the beginning go somewhere around here keyframe it again and go some 10 frames forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay we have it here let's keyframe it again and zoom to 1.2 again and the next thing we can do is just adjust our anchor point so let's just bring it down a bit the good thing about this is you don't have to keyframe it because the anchor point sets up automatically and it will just zoom up to there. So let's see it now. Okay, it looks better, but still it's quite rigid. So what can we do? We can add an ease in and ease out. It's very easy. So just go to your first keyframe, hover over it and just press right click and press ease out and go to the next one right click and ease in so let's see how it looks now oh that already looks a lot more smooth so also let's say that now you want to zoom out to the original position you can actually do it quite easily just set one keyframe go again 10 frames forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten keyframe it again and just type in one so we again have it and go like this, ease in, go back one, go to ease out and it will just zoom in and then zoom out to the same position because we have adjusted our anchor point and you don't have to keyframe the positions back and forth. It's really easy. So that's the gist of the edit page smooth zoom in. You can actually also click this button here and you have your keyframes if you want to adjust them a bit more you can adjust your spline right here so you can change the, the, the way that the zooms look as you can see we can make it faster when we zoom in and zoom out so here you can just adjust how you want your spline to look it's very easy and you can experiment with it however you want and you can actually create some interesting zoom, zoom in effects or zoom out effects so yeah that will be all for the edit page and now we can jump in to our fusion page so let's zoom out a bit here i've set up just some basic scene for us to edit as you can see, just some background, some pictures and some text stacked on one on top of the other. What we can do actually just click here and hold shift and click on the last one and just create new compound clip. Name it whatever you want. So now we just have our photos and everything else in our compound clip. Next thing we are going to do let's go to the effects get our adjustment clip and just drag it out to be the same length as our clip okay click on the adjustment clip and then go right click and open in fusion page so now that we are in fusion we can go click on our media one 
and then press shift plus space and this pop out will come out and just then type in transform and just press enter now we have our transform and okay since we are in fusion now we don't have our zoom controls but we do have the size controls and that's what we are going to be using for our zoom in and zoom out so let's just go 10 frames forward and keyframe our size and then go maybe 15 frames forward and keyframe our size again so next thing we do is on the second keyframe adjust our size level to something like 1.8 okay now we have something like this but it doesn't really look good so what can we do to fix it this time we are going to actually use our center values to adjust our zoom we are not going to use the pivot because as you can see we have three subjects that we want to zoom to and from each other so we are going to be using center values so let's go to the first keyframe keyframe our center and go to the second and keyframe our center again and on the second keyframe just adjust our center to something like this okay so let's go to the beginning and see how it looks so now it's just basic linear zoom in okay let's click on our transform how can we smooth it out we are going to do that by using the spline tab which you can find on the upper right corner of the program click on the spline click on our transform here and then just zoom everything to fit Click here to select all of them and then just press S. So now it will look something like this. It's really smooth now. Okay, so now that we zoomed in to him, we can actually go and zoom in to the left subject and then to the right one. Okay, how do we do that? Let's go some again, 15 frames forward and keyframe our center and size again. And again, go. 15 frames forward and keyframe it again on the second time we keyframe them we can actually go and do something like let's fix our y value and our x value to bring him in and we can get our zoom down to maybe do something like or up actually we can get our zoom to something like two okay and just readjust our x and y value and we have him here but again it looks too linear and we can actually do the same thing again just click zoom to fit here and then press s to smooth them out let's see the whole thing now zooms in and zooms in to, to him so right now we want to go to the right subject let's again go 15 frames forward the keyframe the keyframe again 15 forward again keyframe one and two we can actually adjust our center and get him here and we are going to get our zoom down to something again again like 1.8 and just add just everything accordingly on the second keyframe again just select the last two keyframes we are made and just press s to smooth them out so now it looks something like this it looks very smooth and very nice and let's say that we want to go back to the full picture again go 15 frames forward keyframe the center keyframe the size again 15 forward keyframe the center keyframe the size and let's get our size down to one and our center values to 0.5 each and again select the last two keyframes and just smooth them out and that should be it so let's see how it looks now let's close our spline tab make this a little bit bigger zoom in and just show you how it looks like Let's go from the beginning. It zooms in, goes to the next one, zooms out to the next one, and zooms out back. And it's very smooth. So again, you can go to the spline tab. Let's zoom out to fit. 
and as you can see we have our spline here and you can adjust the spine, spline values however you want really it's up to you you can create some amazing zoom ins and zoom outs but it's just a basic of smooth zoom ins and zoom outs next thing we can do to actually make it a lot better is add a motion blur so go to our on our transform go to our settings and then just check this box for, for motion blur and you have your quality here and shutter angle the main thing is that we change if these values are higher the motion blur will look nicer but it gets more demanding on your pc so if you have a weaker pc your playback will look choppy because of it and it will take longer to render so do with that information that what you want uh, but when you add the motion blur in let's see how it looks as you can see it has a nice motion blur and zooms in and out and that motion blur makes it a bit more realistic of zoom in and zoom out so yeah you can increase your quality and shot angle however you want and it will change the way it looks so let's go back as you can see looks something like this maybe it's not too much but you get the gist of it so yeah so that's it on how to make smooth zooming in davinci resolve and if you have more questions please leave a comment down below and i will try to answer it also, if you want to more, learn more advanced video editing techniques that, that Imagaji uses, you can watch this video right here.